woman in Islam is Hajar. I respect Hajar for being such an ambitious and understanding Egyptian woman. Hajar was Prophet Ibrahim's second wife and had a baby named Ismail. When Allah ordered Ibrahim to leave Hajar and their baby Ismail in the desert of Mecca, Hajar accepted that order from Allah. After running back and forth seven times without giving up, Hajar saw water running in between Ismail's legs which is now called Zamzam water. The reason why it's called Zamzam is because when Haja was gathering the water with her hand, she kept repeating the word Zamzam. <laughs> She was an inspiring woman devoted to Allah, pure and respectable. She always spent her days praying to Allah. She was not married, nor has she ever touched another male. Can you guess who this woman is? That's right, this woman is Maryam. Many people may be surprised that Muslims love Maryam, the mother of Isa. In the Quran, no woman is given more attention than Maryam. She receives the most attention of any woman mentioned in the Quran, even though all of the prophets, with exception of Adam, had mothers. From the Quranic description of events, we can deduce that Maryam spent most of her pregnancy alone. What happened to her during this period is not mentioned in the Quran, although it picks up the story at the moment that Maryam gets into labor. Allah, knowing the reaction of society, further guided her to how to deal with the situation. When she carried baby, baby Isa to her people, they questioned her, and as a, as a baby in her arms, Isa gave them an answer. And so, baby Isa defended his mother from any accusations of adultery and in a nutshell explained who he was and why he was sent by Allah. In Islam, Isa is considered one of the five greatest prophets sent by God to mankind. Islam, in Islam, the knowledge about Isa is based on two main sources of Islamic knowledge, the Quran and the Hadith. In the Quran, Isa is referred to, is referred to Isa ibn Maryam. from Islam is Fatima. She was the youngest of the Prophet's daughters and was attached to her father. She would try to protect him from the Kufa. Um, later on, she married Ali, the cousin of Prophet Muhammad, and lived a poor life. She is the mother of Al Hussein and Hassan. She was the first one to die from the family after the Prophet. My favorite woman in Islam is Khadija. Khadija was a widow much richer and older than the Prophet. She was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu first wife and first believer in Islam. She supported him and encouraged him to continue and spread Islam. She had four girls and two boys. She died the same year as Abu Talib and the Prophet called that year the year of sadness. I could relate to the most was Sitna Aisha, who was one of Prophet Muhammad's wives. The story that really stood out to me was the story of an ifk or the falsely accused. The story takes place after one of the battles the Muslims fought. After the battle, all the soldiers were going back to Medina to eat and get some rest. However, Aisha had left to find a necklace of hers and was left behind. Thankfully, another Muslim soldier had overslept and missed the caravan too. He found Aisha and helped take her back to Medina. Sadly, when they got to Medina, the Muslims saw them and thought that they were having an affair. Many rumors started spreading and the people wouldn't believe the truth. Prophet Muhammad couldn't even defend her because he didn't know what had happened and he decided to wait for some sign from Allah. The rumors really affected Aisha, bringing her to tears and she decided to move back to her dad's house. After a month or so, Allah sent down Surah An-Nur saying that Aisha was innocent and that all the people who spread rumors without at least four witnesses would be lashed 80 times and could never be a witness in court again. Well, that's all, folks. That's my line. Step aside, babe. Let a star do this. That's all! That's all, folks! Can I go home now?